Before this video starts, make sure to check out my Discord server. There, we talk about games and hang out. Currently, not many people know about it, so if you could check it out, that would be great. Thanks and enjoy the video. Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft style text in Photoshop. So basically, if you don't know what I mean by Minecraft style text, it's like basically the Minecraft logo, you know, it says Minecraft or Minecraft Bedrock Edition or Minecraft Nether Update, which actually just came out recently. Uh, and basically, I'm going to be showing you how to do this in Photoshop. Now, just before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to Lucas B. Nagy or I hope that I'm saying that correctly because I didn't actually think of this. Uh, I found it from this person's video. So shout out to him. They're probably a really good person and uh, yeah, they, like they thought of this on Photoshop. So I'm going to show you how to do it as well uh, on my on my video. So let's get into it. Now also for this tutorial, you will need, or well, if you want to do it, if you want to use the same like fonts for Minecraft, you will need uh, these like Minecrafter, Minecrafter alt and pixelation fonts. But if you just want to use your own font, that's up to you. But for this video, I'm going to be using the Minecrafter font without the cracks. Because in my opinion, I, I for some reason I like the one without the cracks more. But yeah, let's do it now. So um, type in what you want it to say. I'm just going to have it say cool man funny. Like the... the that we usually do something like cool man funny or something on this channel I'll actually make it slightly above like the middle because we're gonna I'm gonna put like a uh, an update text under it and uh, I'll also show you how to put the like the version or the edition text under it as well so now that you've got your uh, your thing here uh, what you can do I'd suggest that you actually just change the color right now to something cool like something that you like because it's a lot easier to get like the colors and the shading correct from it being the same color but you can also fine tune it later and I'll show you how to do that uh, when we get up to the 3d part but if you if you just want to do it like how I'm doing it just choose a cool color that you like up to you it doesn't matter really what the color is but now that you've got your text here you want to go to the cool man funny and or whatever you've text you've put the text as right click and click new 3d extrusion from selected layer and now it will load up it might it might say like oh do you want to uh change to the 3d workspace just click yes and if you want to just set it to don't show again or whatever because i did that so it doesn't pop up every single time but now after you've done that you should be greeted with this page which is the 3d workspace you've got like a bird's eye view in the top left corner you've got the 3d version of the text um you've got well the history shows up here uh and you've got like a bunch of 3d stuff here but what you want to do now as you know the Minecraft text it's kind of got like a tilt towards like going up so what i would do is put it like that it, you can really you could do it as far as you want like i think that's way too far but maybe like that or there around there that that, I think that's good and once you've done that uh, what what might happen is that like the colors will look a little weird and that's because you need to change the position of your infinite light as you can see it's actually still facing down so all the light is just going towards like down uh, but uh, what you want to do you might want to make it like that something like that and as you can see there's a little shade there uh, if you want to fix that go to your cool man funny or the thing like I said before and go turn off cast shadows and that will remove all of those weird like shadows and then you can finish fine-tuning your light um, I'm I think around here that's nice and now that we've done that so if you want to like change the colors like you could basically what you could do you could have the front as one color and the back is one color like the the sides is one color so what we can do we can highlight both of these you don't have to do this if you if you don't want to but you need to select the first two they'll be in the correct order won't, they won't be in a weird order uh you want to select those first two and then you can just choose the color you want like i could choose like a green you know what that, that looks cool we'll keep that and then you want to select these three under it and then that will be the other part so like you could set it to that that also looks cool for some reason so i i will actually leave it like that 
But once you're happy with that, uh, you could even, after you've changed the colors, you might want to fine tune the light again. I think mine's still okay. After you've done that, you can now go up here. It should be the top right. You want to click it and click back the essentials. Um, you want to click that so that you go back to the normal menu. As you can see, now it just shows layers. That might still show up, but you could uh, you could close if you want. But I'll just leave it there just because it look, looks kind of cool. And now you want to set this as a con. You want to set it as a smart object, um, so that will like put all the layers together. And then there you go. Now it's like that, and it's not done yet. We still need to do a couple more things. So now you want to double click the uh, text, and you want to go to stroke. It should be the first one. I've made a second one for some reason, but you want to um, oh, make sure you've actually ticked it and you've like clicked on it. And then you want to select the size. I'll just make it. It's it's up to you. You could really make it that big if you want. But um, usually it's about maybe let's I would say like that that much nine. Th that's okay with me. And then after you've done that, you can also go to gradient overlay because the Minecraft text it's kind of got like a white to gray overlay. You could do that if you want, but really this is like a funky kind of color combo so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to find a cool combination like that that kind of looks cool and you could also like change the angle of it which is pretty cool like there maybe I don't know it's, it's up to you I think that looks kind of cool because kind of got like a green to what kind of bluish Th that's okay with me but I'll actually make it negative 90 so it's actually straight and yeah that's basically it for the gradient you could set it to just like normal gray to like white to gray uh or, or you could do what what i did made the cool man funny and then click ok and you want to turn that into a smart object again so it's just one one small thing i'm not actually really that sure what a smart object does but uh you're supposed to do that okay so now for the uh i'll, I'll do the update text first because i don't want to be completely copying lucas b naggy uh, so I'll, I'll do the update text first instead of the the addition text. What you want to do now, we're basically going to do the same thing, but we're going to turn it like the other way. But if you're a bit lost, I'll just show you how to do it again. So what you want to do, get your text tool and type in whatever you want. It doesn't have to be update, obviously. It could be like, uh, bruh, bruh, 21 update. Because like... I don't know if you like they've kind of leaked it but it's the bar 21 update of cool man funny and once you've done that you can move it wherever you want uh, where, oh, wherever you want really like you could make you could make it up there but I don't know why you do that but because this is the update text we'll actually just leave it there because we can actually put it under there and we, we still need to actually see it so what you can do as well you can change the color do all that you can still change the color when we're in the 3d mode I think this this color is fine for me but once you've done that click the new 3d extrusion from selected layer and instead of pressing like doing that out oh, that way you want to do it the way I accidentally just did and usually I think it's like about that much Th that's that's about how far it goes yeah I think about that and also just before we do it make sure you turn off cast shadows again and I don't know if you've realized, but like the the update text is actually a little more stretched out. So you want to go to the one next to the T, top right at the top right, and an extrusion depth, make it a lot further. Like you could literally make it as far as you want. I think that's a little too far, maybe just after the text, and because it's gonna be like behind it, I would make it about like that far. And like you, like I don't want it to be behind the L. If it's behind the L, then uh well too too bad for me i guess but you could really like pull a lot over into this make it exactly how it is obviously i'm not doing exactly how it is like look at this color scheme it does not look the same but make sure it's like a little further than this one because it is like longer depth and once you've done that you can fine tune the colors again i've shown you how to do that if you don't remember how to do it i'll have a timestamp on the screen right now to so you can see how to fine tune the front colors and the back colors but yeah uh, I'm just gonna leave mine because I can't be bothered to change it again it, it looks kind of cool then the infinite light which 
Uh, like I guess I should show you as well because this one's actually kind of needed. Um, usually the way it is, it's kind of like that. It's not exactly like that. It's not like dark completely there. You can kind of see light in t towards the, the cracks or not the cracks, but like the like you see the U. Like there's a space in the U usually around there. I'd say it's about there. Maybe even a little more light like that. I think that's great. You can obviously, like I said before, like I've probably said this like 10 times now, you can do whatever you want. You could literally make the light like that or that or sideways. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. Like, really, I, I don't care what you do. Like, as long as it looks cool for you, that's great. But once you're happy, you can now go back to your essentials and uh, save it as a smart object again. And there you go. Now we have to do the same thing. Now go to stroke again. Uh, I think it's about the same stroke, like space, or space size. Uh, that's about it. Uh, you can add a pattern over, or not pattern overlay. You can add a gradient overlay as well. I think that actually looks pretty cool. I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave it with that. Uh, you can do, you can do pa a gradient overlay. You don't have to. Um, I can't really see a gradient on the update text, but it's up to you. Do what if you want. Then you click OK, then you right click, convert to smart object, and there you go, that's the update text. Mo make sure you put it under the main text and you can just move it behind. There you go, that that's the update text. Okay, now let's do the addition text. The small one that usually says Bedrock Edition or Java Edition or if you're still on it, like PS4 Edition or Xbox Edition or something. Uh, but basically, uh, you could you sh could use a different font. You could use the same font, but I'm gonna choose the pixelation one. So now we can do it. We can put in the thing. Um, this could could this could, this could be instead of but uh but 21 update. It could be but 21 edition. Now you can can't actually see that. I should actually put that in front of it for now. Gonna actually sh should it should be there. So make sure make sure but 21 edition is on top of cool man funny and as you can see this is definitely not correct like this this is way too big uh you want to change the size you could actually do control t like like this control t and make it bigger and smaller if you really need to but uh i think that that's good and there we go we can put it here not not the right there because i'll interfere we can't see it actually but about there, you could make it bigger or smaller. You could actually make it bigger than the main text. I don't know why you'd do that as well. But I, I don't know, up to you. Now, just quickly, I actually want to make the text uh, white. I won't actually be able to see it, which is stupid. But uh, I'll see it in a second. It, like, it looks invisible. But then we do new 3D extrusion. And there you go. I can actually see it again. I For some reason, I thought it was like like that like the same as the update text but actually it's like the same angle as the cool man funny so you want to set it to like around there you could do that that you could actually have it right, right in front but that doesn't really look cool so I'll just make it like there that that's about it and after you do that you might want to tinker with the infinite light a lot a lot more like make it like because like the under part is not is kind of like gray so you do that over there also you might want to do the uh, you might want to turn off the cast shadows as well so it doesn't look weird and you can you can tinker with the colors again I'll show you there's, an, there's another timestamp right on the screen right now uh, if you want to figure out how to do that if you keep forgetting but yeah now that now that you've done that that, that's about it so now you can go to essentials uh, turn it into a smart object and obviously I can't really see it again but then what you can do you can double click it wait for this to appear stroke and I'm pretty sure like this like the line is actually slightly smaller maybe like a, what, a five or six I'd say six and we I'm not gonna add a gradient overlay but you can do that as well it's right here uh, I won't have to show you a timestamp because it's right here. It's this one. I'm not going to use that because I, I want the Blood 21 edition to actually look like the Bio 21 edition. But there we go. We've got that there. And now we can turn this into a smart object. 
and put this under it like there and there you go you're done that that's the tutorial so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed um this might have been a long video i'm not actually sure i haven't counted but if you enjoyed make sure to subscribe like the video and comment uh maybe i missed something maybe i could have done something a little better because i'm pretty sure uh i've probably messed things up on here like i'm pretty new to photoshop i just got a couple days ago but yeah uh that's about it for the tutorial thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later goodbye